Hi guys and welcome back to Oxygen Not Included. Uh, in this episode we're going to look at sorting food out and things like that. Just sorting these storage containers out so that they're, in fact that one, did I just set that to just organic? Yeah I did. Or not organic, that's what I wanted. Yep. Or not organic. Okay, cool. So we've got a decent amount of storage going on there. Yeah, in between times, this oxygen thing's been finished. And the base is looking pretty good in terms of what's available oxygen-wise. So, that's not too bad. The one thing that did happen, which is bad news, is this uh, duplicate got stuck over here. And I didn't realise, uh, because this basically was a piece of sandstone here that was too high. And has ended up, um, has ended up dying, unfortunately. I think we need to put one of these memorials down. Yep, so that she doesn't bring the decor level of the place down, basically. Um, but on the plus side, we need one less bed at the moment. And I'm sure we'll have another duplicate popping up yeah, soon, like 42 seconds time. So that's fine. I've set this food stuff to be made here. We've obviously got our algae terrariums there, which is enough uh, food. So, sorry, enough oxygen. Food is the thing we're short on now. So... Uh, so yeah, that's working away there. We've got some research going. We had liquid piping finished, so we're working on sanitation sciences. And I want to just do a couple more things in terms of uh, getting the base sorted. So let's prioritise this dig here. Because I'm going to want to put a supercomputer in there. And as soon as we get a new duplicate, we'll have someone else to actually start working as well. So that's going to help us. Uh, let's prioritise the whole food situation to a six. Because I think that's going to need power once it's actually done as well. And I'll speed things up a bit to let things just get on. Well, we'll build the other bed because we've got a new duplicate coming now anyway. So we're going to need it. Right. Don't want any loud sleepers. Oh, my God. Well, this is a bit of a pain. She's a very good digger. This person's uncultured, so they're going to have no issue with decor. Yeah, I mean the only the only problem is that she's allowed sleeper, so we'll cancel that bed and we'll put one at the end there, and hopefully that will mean that she won't actually disturb the other people too much. At least that's the plan. Uh, we need to turn her off uh, research because we don't want her doing research. No, we want her mainly doing the digging and stuff like that. But she can build the food thing, that's absolutely fine. I'm going to keep the research going because we kind of ran out of research on the last uh, on the last playthrough. That was kind of the bottleneck for us. We need wires. I should probably slow it down when things need building, to be honest, because... Uh, let's go... Through the tile, I guess. There, link it up to the grid. Kind of don't want that to belong to her. I want this one to belong to her. Because then she's going to be like well out of the way and not wake everyone else up. Unfortunately, he's going to have a sleepless night, but it shouldn't last too long. Right, let's speed things up while they're asleep. There's no reason to be watching them sleep. Oh, we've got some mealwood seeds, so we can plant things here as well. That is good, because those will give us some extra food. Prioritise the building of this wire and everything under here, because we want it to be done. Uh, let's have a quick look how we're doing base-wise. Right, yeah, we've got... The base is nicely oxygenated. We're not struggling with any pockets of carbon dioxide or anything like that. The only thing that we're probably going to run out of again is run low on algae. Although for now we're doing okay and there is some available that we can get to quite easily. So I'm not going to panic about that yet. No, I'm not. Okay. And we've got all this up here. In fact, we've got a decent amount available. That's not going to be an issue for the near future. We can probably easily make all that last until we get a new oxygen generation method going which is going to be using water basically with water pumping kind of let them go about their business for a bit and just sort out what they need to sort out uh, we're gonna fabricate some mush bars we'll make some of those because we do need some food and let's set food production at like an eight 
and we need to actually set oxygen production to a nine that needs to always take precedence in terms of being filled up so we'll get those up and that thing also I uh, don't think you can actually set the priority of that so we'll leave it as it is we'll let them do their thing we've got someone making food now so that's good so we shouldn't be short of a food store shortage uh, select research for this that's done so let's select percolation and have that doing next and we can put down a supercomputer let's get onto that and power it up once it's plugged in as well sorry once it's built but no rush on it no rush on it okay you can actually see the area she's affecting while she's snoring so we're just out of range of everyone else so as long as we kind of keep her separate or maybe build like her own room or something later on she shouldn't cause too many problems and it was worth it to get an extra duplicate going so let's fabricate some more of these mush bars I'm thinking about putting in a couple of extra batteries and maybe sticking them like up there out of the way it seems like that would be a good idea um, that way we've got a bit of leeway when it comes to kind of our power generation rather than kind of relying on it to you know sort itself out yeah if I build like a little ledge like that dig out that let's prioritize that to like a six so it gets done before the other before the other stuff okay and then we could build a couple of batteries up there our gas overlay is actually looking really good. We've got nice breathable gas all throughout the base. And we've got really low levels of carbon dioxide down here because we've got these terrariums taken care of. So I'm quite happy with the way that's going so far. Okay, so they've built that little shelf for us now. I think I can look at putting a couple of... I reckon just like a couple of batteries up there to start with. And um, we'll get some wires. I'm not going to prioritise these particularly because... It's not something that I'm like desperate to get up and running or anything. And if we just plug those into the grid like that, they should kind of get charged up as well once they're built. So we'll leave that to go along with everything else. Uh, we probably do with another another duplicate. Let's get like a bed ready um, for them. Cot there like that. And uh, we may as well, just in the interest of tidying up, in fact, no, I'm not going to mess with it anymore. I'm quite happy with the way things are building along there. This area is looking pretty good. We're going to need like a shower eventually. I think before we finish for the episode, we'll look at just planning out what we want to do in, in the future, kind of moving forwards. So I'm thinking we'll move along into like this area here. Kind of like that. And just do a similar thing. But on the other side, like that. Okay. And then obviously that those areas will just be dug out like that. And like that. And like that. Okay, yeah, and I think that will be a good... And they're instantly digging this area out, which is peculiar. I wonder if it's because there's food available in there and they're like going to grab that or something. It was strange that they all just jumped on that all of a sudden when they've not even bothered with this stuff. But there you go. It is what it is. Is this guy onto the supercomputer research now, is he? Yeah, he's actually researching percolation. So we'll let him do that and then we'll switch him onto the next one afterwards. Oh, we've got a new duplicate as well. So let's sort that out before we leave off. Gastrophobia means he can't cook. Yokel means he can't research, but he's got a good immune system and he's got a decor level of minus 15, which I'm happy about. We'll go for him. Uh, we've already got the bed ready for him so we may as well choose him and we could probably do with an extra set of hands around the place okay okay brilliant right guys I'm gonna in between time oh, the batteries are up and running I didn't even realize okay cool that's excellent because let's make it so that what's his face though our researcher doesn't generate power so that he just carries on with the research why is he still doing it He's our researcher. Oh, that's not him, that's why. Yeah, basically we want him to just do the research and not have to really worry about doing the power and stuff like that. Okay. So that means that once these things are charged up, we should have a little while to actually kind of keep things working. Suffocate him. 
Someone's trapped somewhere. Okay, where are they trapped? Her. Oh, she is trapped. Can she not dig? Is that her thing? She can... Who's suffocating? Oh, man, she's, like, trapped in the, uh... She's like trapped in the graphics or something. This is bad news. I think she might actually die. How did that happen? How did she get trapped in there? Well, the game is in pre-alpha, so... Uh, deconstruct that. I'm really not sure how this happened. Let's prioritise it. Make it, like, super high that this gets sorted out. I think she's going to die. I, don't th I think she's going to die. I don't think there's any way to fix her. Did she just die? Is she dead? Yeah, it says I'm back down to four duplicates. She actually died in there? Oh, my God. What? Well, okay. You know, guys, the game is in, like, pre-alpha, so these things are to be somewhat expected. So I'm not going to get too salty about it. It's a bit of a pain in the neck, but... What can you do? Well, that's two duplicates that have died. Okay, guys, on that sad note, I'm going to call that an end to the episode. If you're enjoying the series, please do hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one, and thanks for watching, guys. Peace.